Hello, Stampers. I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. First of all, happy Halloween. I have my Halloween shirt on. Wicked. Yeah. I see people popping in. Welcome. I'm going to give you guys just a few minutes to do that. I'm going to get my iPad set up here because I'm hoping for a technology error free night. Hello, Linda. And I see Dolly's coming in from Kansas and Kathleen is watching. Okay, I've got my volume down. We're gonna have a good night. Oh, that's an old video. Let's see if I can get a new one popping up here. There we are. There I am, Woohoo! I hope you guys are having a wonderful Halloween. There I am. And let me make sure my, here's my comments. Gosh, they have all these new things on Facebook, right? So I literally just ran in here. We were out trick or treating with little Miss Val and I just posted pictures of her adorable Halloween costume. I have to tell you, Haley and Jared knock it out of the park with this baby and their Halloween costumes. If you remember last year, Val was a little old lady and she had a little walker and this funny little, little old lady wig on and this little dress and this little like um, cardigan sweater with the pearl necklace and some, some little cat eye glasses where she looked all crotchety. <laughs> it still makes me laugh every time I see those pictures. So this year she was a hunter, hunter chick. And we have one of those little tykes cars that like have the round top and the kids get in it and they can push it with their feet, you know. So <laughs> Haley painted the top of it black, strapped a deer, a stuffed deer to the top of it, um, dressed Val in camouflage clothing. And then yesterday I made her a blaze orange little vest to go over it. And they had a blaze orange hat on her. She had a little bolt action rifle play gun and a set of binoculars <laughs> all in this little car. It was hysterical. She did so good. And the nicest part was that she would get, she loves the car. She plays with it all the time. And we got it like at a rummage sale for, I want to say $4. And we've had it um, all summer out by the pool. And she just loves to ride in it. She loves Steve to push her around. And so this was perfect because um, you know, she's one and a half and they don't walk a lot. Like they, eh, they want up, they want to be held so she could get in her car, which she loves. And me, Jared or Haley pushed her down the street and we'd push her up to the next house and she would open her door and get out of her car and take her little bucket up to the door and get her candy. She liked to pick her own candy out. She's very independent like that. And um, it's kind of funny. She loved all the puppies and she couldn't, she can't say thank you, but she can say bye and please. <laughs> so it was so cute. Oh my gosh, we literally just got back. I can see um, Haley and Jared down by the garage talking to Steve and then they're gonna, they're gonna go home. So I ran up here, I'm like, bye you guys, I gotta go. People are counting on me tonight. So happy Halloween. We had a great time. It was, it was, I was just really grateful that I was invited to go along and um, it was really fun. So can't wait to see what we're going to do next year. Hmm. We saw some really cool costumes out there too, like kids and adults were dressed up. I saw a man dressed up like a skunk. It was pretty funny, <laughs> but we had a good time. I hope you guys have had a good week since I saw you last Sunday. Um, what did I do? I went hunting. So I went up to my mom's house, I think Thursday night, maybe. I think I tried to get out of here earlier, but I couldn't. So I went up Thursday night. So I hunted Friday night and no, I must've gone up Wednesday night. I don't know, but I hunted two nights. I don't get up in the morning. You guys know I'm not a morning person. So, um, I went hunting and I saw like five or seven deer my first night and 
five or seven deer my second night. And I say five or seven because I can see deer over there and there's like four. And then later I see three come across the fence line over here. Now, are those those deer? And they're just coming across the field? I don't know because there's things in my way that I can't keep my eye on them. But anyways, it's always good to see wildlife when you're sitting in a tree. And I stayed warm this time because I put my, I use heated insoles. Like they're like hand warmers, only they're a whole insole for under your foot. I put those in before I got cold this time. And I also had one hand warmer. I have more now. I stopped at the store and got some more. But one one hand warmer. And I opened that up and used that before I got my hands got cold. So then it seemed to work out better. So I'll have to remember that. And then I went and I went down to, um, we call our property South Park because it's south of my mom's house. And um, Steve likes South Park. It's funny. <laughs> so that's the name of our little property we bought a little wooded lot. And um, I went down there to see my new summer home is parked. Steve's got that all parked there. And to see the damage. Because remember, I told you guys, did I tell you? He hit a tree with it. <laughs> he did. <laughs> and um, it's not just a little dent. It's pretty bad. <laughs> so it will have to be fixed. He felt terrible, but he's like, I just lo I lost track of that tree. I just didn't remember that tree being there. He said it was really hard to get the camper into place too, like, cause it's a really, it's a long camper. So it was a lot trickier. Anyways, hi, Kathy. Hi, Arliss. Welcome tonight. Um, they bed down in your front yard. I don't know who just said that because my phone is kind of scrolling really fast. Barbara. Said they bed down, the deer bed down, 10 to 15 deer in her front yard. Well, I need to put a tree stand up in your front yard. <laughs> That's what I need to do. Anyhow, it was nice to spend, again, a couple days with my mom and my nieces. And my sister was there and my nephew. So that was kind of cool. And uh, I saw my brother. So that was fun. I missed my cousin. Um, his back went out, so he had to leave. Him and his son were there bow hunting too, but I didn't get to see him because they had to go home. I wish him well. Oh, he's supposed to have his knee replaced tomorrow, so he can't take any painkillers for his back. So he's supposed to go to the chiropractor today, so I hope he gets better. Anywho, um, what else happened? John report. I have not seen John at all. Like, I have not seen him. I know he's home. Both his vehicles are in the driveway. I do not know where John is. And then I was gone tonight for trick-or-treating because I went trick-or-treating with Haley and um, Jared in Vail. So I didn't see John then either. So I do not have a John report. And somebody asked me, I was talking about our neighbor across the street, Gino, and how we haven't seen him in a while. And I haven't gotten an update from Steve, but I still haven't seen Gino. So I, I don't know. What's going on with him? But as soon as I find out, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> okay? <laughs> yeah, poor Steve. I know, he felt really terrible about hitting the tree. He, like, called me and he's like, well, I got the camper in place, but I have some bad news. I hit a tree and I'm like, well, you know, it's not like we bought the camper to resell it and make money or anything. So, like, who cares? But then when I went and saw it, it's like, well, it's pretty bad. <laughs> It'll need to be fixed. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. Things happen. And I'm just glad it was him and not me. <laughs> because you know how men are. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But men tend to be like, oh, my gosh, I can't believe you did that. La, la, la. And I'm not like that. I'm like, whatever. Who cares? It is what it is. I'm not going to sweat the small stuff. It could always be worse, right? Yeah. That's my philosophy in life. It could always be worse. So... We have some fantastic things going on this week. Well, at least one fantastic thing. First of all, Eden's Garden is going live on Tuesday. Do you like how wrinkled up my papers are? I have pulled these in and out of my little um, paperwork area a million times. I squished them into my laptop bag to take up north. I have an online class. That is my November online class with Dina and Barb and me. We are going to put together a class, nine cards. There's a whole product 
line that we're including in option number one. When you order option number one from us, you get the online class for free and the pre-cut cardstock pack for nine cards free when you order option one. Or if you already have this collection of products, you can order option number two, which includes um, some gems. Oh, I was gonna have this out here so I wouldn't have to dig for it, but I forgot. Hang on, I have it written written down right here. I'm feeling a little organized. We'll, we'll see, I might've just stuck my foot in my mouth. Um, Along with the collection, the Eden's Garden collection, we're also going to include gold foil paper and gold shimmer ribbon. And then you have the option to add on the flowers and leaves punch, which is, hang on, I got it here someplace. Here it is, right here. Here's the punch. If you have this already, let me see if I can, there we go, get the, there we go. If you have this punch already, that's fine. But if you don't have it, you're going to want to add it on to option number one or option number two. And the price to add this on is $25, which includes shipping because punches are very heavy. And when we add punches to a class, it increases our shipping significantly. So includes tax and shipping with your kit. Option number two is going to include the beautiful garden gems oh, these are so so pretty you guys as well as the gold ribbon let me see if i have it in here i do this is the gold ribbon it's um it's in the annual catalog and it's very very pretty so gold ribbon half a pack of gold foil and the garden gems as well as nine card cut out pieces of cards out pieces of cards nine cards all cut out for you except the designer series paper and of course you have to have that because we don't include that in option number two so this is the beautiful paper and all the details are on my blog www.stampabove.com or you can order the pdf file with tutor video tutorials written instructions still photographs for all nine cards for twenty dollars so that is on my blog right now. You can pre-register for that. This bundle does not become available until Tuesday, November 2nd. And, um, oh, I had one little thing in my head that I was going to tell you. November 2nd. You can lose it. Oh, um, it will be available. This is a pre-order for this class. So the PDF file will be available on November 26th. Now, if you're a member of Stamp Happy Academy, which is our subscription website, you get this for you get the PDF for free. So just know that we have four online classes every single month that are included with the membership to Stamp Happy Academy. And if you need information about that, just go to stamphappyacademy.ning.com and you'll find all that information. But this is a pre-order for the Eden's Garden. I do have it on my blog ready for registration. Oh, I know what I was going to say. It just popped in my head. When you order option number one that has the stamp set and the paper and the gems and the ribbon and the gold foil and all the things, when you order that, as soon as, you, as, soon as I invoice you and you pay that invoice, I order your products. So those products get ordered right away and shipped directly to you from Stampin' Up! So you don't have to wait for those products. Um, I know in the past, some people have been like, well, I don't want to wait until the end of the month to get the whole suite of products. Nope, when you order option number one, you get it. I order it for you as soon as you pay. So I just want to make sure everybody knows that. All right. Um, next up, we have prizes. Where's my prizes? I have some fabulous prizes I'm going to be giving away and let me see is this part of the prize oh it is okay so hang on while I get myself back on my chair I always kind of squiggle up to the edge of my chair and then every once in a while not often but every once in a while I fall off the edge of it <laughs> I know I'm glad nobody's here to see it because it's pretty funny <laughs> but have you ever like tipped your chair in your office over forward like <laughs> fall off maybe not okay maybe that's more than I should have shared <laughs> anywho we have some fantastic ladybug trinkets 
I found these in my closet because I was doing some more cleaning. I know it must sound like I live in this horrendous closet place, but it's, it's, it's a mess, but it's, it's not, I'm not a hoarder. My husband says I'm a hoarder, but I'm not. And I said, you know, you're going to watch the hoarder show with me and then you'll see what hoarding is really all about. And he said, just because there aren't any dead animals under your stuff doesn't mean you're not a hoarder. <laughs> I know, right? I'm not. Anyways, ladybug trinkets. This is for commenting. So make sure that if you're coming in here new, um, you want to leave a comment. It doesn't matter what you say. You can say, hi, Kelly. You can say, Hi from New York. You can say anything you want, but you want to leave a comment because that way you'll get entered in a drawing to win fabulous prizes. Oh, and I see Patricia Canfield coming in. Happy Halloween to you too. So I've got Ladybug Trinkets. These are going out to Noreen Harrell from Crofton, Maryland. You will be getting these fabulous little trinkets in the mail. Thank you so much for commenting on my video. Next up, for sharing my video, I have two half rolls of ribbon plus an entire pack of the mercury glass acetate. This is um, mercury glass acetate. And I cut this up to six by six for mailing purposes. This is for sharing my video. So you can click someplace on your screen right now and you can share this video. And I want to thank um, Joe and Chris. This is coming your way as soon as you get me your mailing address. I requested it um, a little earlier today when I did the drawing. But um, she has been sharing to various live video groups. So she shared like three or four times my video and I certainly appreciate that. I just happened to notice it when I drew her name and went and clicked on her share that she shared it a whole bunch of times. So I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. That sharing is probably the most valuable thing, whether you're watching now live on Facebook or later on YouTube. Clicking that share button is just so valuable to me in helping me grow my business. So I just want to let you guys know how much I appreciate that. So this is coming to Joe and Chris, and I'm pretty sure it's Joe that that is the one who's doing all the goodies for me. <laughs> this prize will be coming out to you. And then for placing an order, I also give away um, fabulous prizes. And I actually have an entire bundle have a hoot. It has Halloween and Christmas in here. Super, super cute. And it also comes with a set of matching dies. This was in our holiday catalog from last winter. And I just happened to have a set of these left because I did an online class with them. So I've got a whole bundle going out to Cynthia Shawl of Mankato, Minnesota. And um, Mankato, Minnesota, beautiful place. I've been there. Cynthia won this for placing an order. So everybody that ordered from me in the last week gets put into a drawing. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations to all my winners. And let's see, Chris and Joe, I'm going to keep this right over here till I get your address. I haven't had time to check my computer to see if she answered me. My power cord is failing on my laptop. <sighs> So I plugged it in yesterday and it wasn't charging, wasn't charging. And I did everything. I plugged it into different outlets and then I took it in my bathroom. I plugged it in the outlet in there. And I think somehow I got the cord laying so it's working. So my laptop is in my bathroom sitting on my sink so that it'll charge. <laughs> I brought it in here a couple times today while I was working to look things up, but... And my power cord, power cords for Macs are really expensive. So it's like over $100. And I know that my Mac is probably failing because it keeps shutting off on me. And this is just something that happens because it's from 2017. It is used and abused and used some more. You know how, um, yeah, I'm pretty, I'm, uh, my computer gets used like day in and day out 24-7. Not really that much, but. You know what I'm saying? So 
it's probably about time for me to replace it, which just gives me hives. I hate doing that. So I don't want to get a new power cord because they're over $100. I got a, um, a fake one one time from Amazon, and I think that only cost me like $20 or $30, but it only lasted like two months. So they're kind of junky. Anywho, I have bingo cards I'm going to share with you just in case you missed bingo. Oh, and that reminds me, the other night, Wednesday night, I did bingo, cards and bingo. We had so much fun. I have maybe one or two packets left. So if anybody would like to get the make and takes from bingo, I'm going to show them to you in a minute. But I've only got a couple left. And I was having problems that night with my screen freezing up because my phone battery was low. Even though I had my phone plugged in, my charger wasn't charging. And it was, my little charger has two plugs in it to plug in the USB ports. Well, one of those isn't working anymore. So it's like, gosh, can you just cut me a break on this technology problems, right? Oh, well, it is what it is. And, uh, I'll get it figured out. Tonight I have it charging, so we shouldn't have any problems. You guys let me know if anything freezes because that's what happened Wednesday night. It said battery low, and then my screen freezes. It lets me keep talking, and you can hear me, but it won't let the screen go. Okay, I'm going to flip on some more lights here. Hang tight. I didn't even have time to get all my stuff ready when I got home. Okay, we're going to flip this camera around. Yeah, because I think I told you all the things I needed to tell you. Oh my gosh, look how many people we have in here. Um, bingo was so much fun. Who said that? Denise did. Oh, I'm so happy. I really have a lot of fun with bingo. Cards and bingo is a blast, right? Okay. Whoops, hang tight. I got to get this all put together here. And, oh, I'm going to need to get some players up here because my... There we go. Okay, so I actually wrote my host code down because I have a new host code and I didn't make a new one of these. So my host code right now is K6TMHXPN. If you place an order with me under $150, if you could please use this code. If your order is over $150, don't use the code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. You can find my online ordering button on my blog. It's in the right hand column or near the bottom of every single post that I put on there. Okay, I'm going to put my little jacket back on because I'm getting cold again. I get hot and I get cold. Oh my gosh, it was so cold and windy um, here trick-or-treating today. It was just crazy. Okay, first I'm going to show you in case you missed it. All of these cards are from Cards and Bingo class Wednesday night. And this is what I was talking about when I said I have a couple packets left with the make and take. So you get five different cards and I cut and die cut um, the tags, for example. It includes the ribbon, black dots, and also red rhinestones you get in the cards and bingo packet for $35. So this is uses that textures and frames and um, oh my gosh. So, so cute, right? Happiest of birthdays. But this was a card that I made with the textures and frames. And I included the textures and frames for free when you added on any one of the other two stamp sets in the bingo class. Then, oh, I love this. Also included with bingo is a quarter pack of 6x6 designer series paper from the Peaceful Prints. And this is the Words of Cheer bundle that we used for this one. Very, very cute card, those red rhinestones. Here's another one. This uses the Pretty Pumpkins, which is the other bundle that was used for the class with the baby wipe technique. So this is a fun fold. This was actually designed by my um, team member, Sarah Simon. So thank you, Sarah. I stamped up an envelope using the baby wipe technique to match. And then, whoops, here is, again, the textures, the textures and frames. Same stamp set used for the red and orange here 
is used for the ornament right here. And again, the Peaceful Prince paper comes with the bingo packet. Isn't that pretty? And last but not least, oh, this one. This has kind of an ombre effect. I used um, blending brushes to put polished pink on white cardstock. And then again, the um, Words of Cheer bundle stamp set and the dies. And this comes from Happiest of Birthdays. So that's where these came from. If anybody is interested in getting your hands on that, um, the bingo packets that I have left, it's on my blog. Just look for the bingo. Oh, oh, email me. I'm going to say email me because I think I took down registration for bingo. I think I closed it, but I do have two packs left. So pop me an email and say you want one of my bingo packets and I will get you an invoice. Again, $35, you get five pre-made cards, black matte dots, red rhinestones, and a quarter pack of the Peaceful Prince Designer Series paper as well as the black glitter ribbon. So it's a pretty good deal. Okay. Who's ready to stamp? I think we're ready. Of course I'm going to be using the Eden's Garden collection tonight. We've got the designer series paper, which is absolutely gorgeous. And then the set of dies, which is just oh, so, so pretty. And I did, hang on, I cut these all out so you could see exactly what they do. We have a beautiful floral frame. We have another little floral frame. Here's a floral label, a little sprig of florals, and a border die. I love border dies. So that's what's in the Eden dies are these. And then, uh-oh, where's my stamp set? I don't know if I even can locate that. We have the beautiful gems. Love those too. Oh, here's my stamp set. And the gorgeous Eden's Garden. This is one of our distinctive um, stamp sets. So that means it looks real when you stamp it, which is a pretty cool look. We've got some great sentiments in there. I'm going to be using Evening Evergreen and Soft Succulent for my cards tonight because, of course, that matches the Ever Eden Designer Series paper and also the gems. And uh, we're going to be using the Shimmer Ribbon on one of the two cards that we're making. So um, this is called Gold, yep, Gold Shimmer Ribbon. It's 3 eighths of an inch wide and it's got kind of a glittery effect. And then one thing I like to do when I'm stamping with a new um, stamp set is I like to mount all of my stamps so I've got them ready to go while I'm designing. And it's just a good tip maybe if you're designing cards with a particular bundle, just if you have enough blocks, put them all in blocks so that they're easy for you to play with. That's what I like to do is, is play with them and have them very easily accessible. Okay. I'm going to bring in my piercing mat. This is just a piercing mat. We sell these in the Stampin' Up! store. This is covered with printer weight paper and taped on the back so that I don't stamp all over my mat. But this is the surface that I like to use to stamp on. So we are going to be doing, let's see, let me grab, oh, this is a fun fold. And I have to tell you a little story about this. Ann Williams messaged me and asked me to um, show her how to make this card. She said she found it on somebody else's blog and that that person said they got the idea layout from me, Kelly Etchison. So I looked at the card and I told Ann, I'm like, yeah, that's a really pretty card, but I never made a card like that. So, little funny story. We'll talk about this in a minute, and I'll show you why I thought that I've never made a card like that, when in fact I have. 
and I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got soft succulent. This is four and a quarter by eight and three eighths. And you guys are going to find all of these dimensions on my blog later tonight after we get done with this live video. I will put photos with dimensions and also a complete shopping list so you'll be able to reference these and find them easily when you go to my blog. But we're going to take this layer and we are going to score it. So let me, we're going to score it at three eighths. And remember, if you need a ruler, I have this hanging up right on my wall right there. If you need a ruler to help you with all these goofy measurements, you know, quarter, half, three quarters, easy, right? The rest of these can be a little confusing. So I've got my ruler here, three eighths is one, two, three lines in. So we're gonna score at three eighths of an inch is gonna be our first score line. Then I'm going to turn it around and we're going to score at one and three eighths. There's that three eighths again. One and three eighths. Two and seven eighths. And three and seven eighths. Don't let those goofy measurements scare you. This is easy and it's only paper. <laughs> okay. Next, this piece is three by four and seven eighths. We're going to score that at three eighths and one and three eighths. And there we go. And this is a neat fun fold. It's also a very easy fun fold. So we're gonna take, let's move this out of the way. We're gonna take these pieces and we're gonna fold on those score lines that we just scored and burnish good with your bone folder. All the score lines. Oh, I saw somebody just emailed me saying they may have requested the bingo packet twice. I will check on that when we're done here. I think it was maybe Kathy. I don't know. It popped up really fast. Okay, so this is what we have. Just like this, okay? And then just like this. So before we glue anything together, we're going to take our designer series paper. Now this piece is four. Oops, four by four and a quarter. And you're gonna to wanna to lay it on here to make sure you have it the right way because it won't fit on here right this way, okay? We want that margin all the way around. So I'm gonna grab my designer paper, my glue, I should say, and we're gonna put that right on here. So we're gonna put this down before we do anything else. Now this is a really easy, oops, fun fold. Don't let these score lines scare you. I want you to give this a try because it's got a big wow factor and it's really easy. So ready for this? We're gonna now take this and this is gonna go up like this. So this little tab right here is gonna make a little box, right? Just like that, okay? So what we're gonna do, we've got this Squish down like this. We're gonna add some glue right here. And then we're gonna simply close this. And that makes our little square, right? Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, okay. Then we're gonna take this piece and we are going to add some, we're gonna do some decorations on it. So first of all, I have, where did that die go? Oh, hang on just a second. Um, did you guys see where my little sprig went? Oh, there it is. I lost that yesterday too, and I put everything away. I was searching all over. I was looking to see, did it stick to the back of something? And here it was still in my, in my packet. So we're gonna take this little sprig 
And what we're gonna do with that is we're gonna die cut that two times, okay? So little sprig, die cut two times. Then we need, oh, where's my gold foil? We need a little bit of gold foil, hang tight. Just a little scrap of gold foil. This is overkill, of course. Now, I would cut this in a strip so that I'm only running through the amount that I need of gold foil through my die cutting machine because you don't want to like put this on here and run this whole thing through. It'll put marks all over the rest of this from the plate. So cut a piece and do um, die cut this, die cut two of these. And when we do that, we're gonna have this, and isn't that oh so pretty? Do you guys like this? This is from the end of my pen. I don't know why that always happens to me. Anyhow, squirrel. Um, and then here's the two sprigs from the Evening Evergreen. Let me put this back so I don't lose it. So we've got two sprigs. We've got a gold banner. I'll put that out of my way. Then I've got two pieces of designer series paper. And of course you can do anything you want to this, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this designer series paper to kind of make, um, I don't know if you'd call it a collage, but let me show you. So we're gonna take this and we're going to cut off one and a quarter. This piece is one and three eighths by three and a quarter, and we're gonna cut off one and a quarter. Oops, that's my score blade. Here's my cutting blade. So we've got these two, and we're gonna do the same thing on here. Cut off one and a quarter. And this is just kind of a neat little thing to do with a designer paper. It's a great way to use up your bits and pieces too. So we're gonna take this, and I am going to glue this on to, now we've got our score lines here, remember? So we're gonna glue this right down in here, just like that. We're gonna take this little piece and turn it over so we have the other side. And we're going to add this. And this is just kind of a neat little collage, like I said, of designer paper. I thought it would look neat something a little different. Got that little bit of border in between. And this piece. So again, you can do anything you want to this little area. But I decided to use up my designer paper scraps. Isn't that kind of cool looking? I, I don't know, I just like it, I think it's neat. Okay, then. This piece is a half an inch wide, so I cut a piece that's three eighths of an inch. Let's see if I can stamp that straight. We're gonna stamp our little hello there on here. Oh, I did really good. Woohoo! <laughs> that's kind of can be challenging, right? And we're gonna take this and add it to our gold label. So I'm gonna put this right in the middle. And I just thought this was a neat way to put words onto the gold. Of course, you could use stays on ink and stamp right on the gold, but I really like that white under there. What do you guys think about that? I think the white under there is really is good, right? Okay, then these two little spriggy deals from the Evening Evergreen, we're going to, so we're gonna take this and we're gonna put this right over that seam, okay? And it's all the way over kind of to the edge here of our green layer. And don't forget we have all this going on back here, okay? But I just got that tucked under. We don't need to know about that stuff yet. All right, we're gonna put this on here. So I'm gonna bring this in. I'll just put some little things of glue back here. And I'm gonna kinda pop that right in there. Pop this one right in here. Just like that. Then we're gonna get our dimensionals. 
I wonder if Steve, yeah, Steve's still out in the garage. Oh my gosh, you guys, he is getting ready to go to um, Nebraska bow hunting for, I don't know how long he's going to be gone. Probably a while. <laughs> 10 days? Who knows? But anyways, he's been going crazy because, you know, he's got to get all the things done, like mow the lawn and pick up all the pears for a pear tree and all the things have to be done before he can take off. So he's just been going crazy, working like a dog. Okay, I got all my dimensionals out now, so we're ready to roll with those. This is our left back side. And let me bring in a new pack here. I'm going to put this one down right here. This one isn't quite as far to the edge, and I don't know if it's going to matter, but you're going to see what I'm doing here. We're going to take this, and again, I'm going to line this up so that it's all the way over to this edge, and it's hanging off of this edge. Let me move these out of my way. Okay, so this piece right here is going to go flush with our little box end, okay? So we're gonna push that all the way down there. Just gonna add some glue right there. And I'm going to flatten this out because it's always easier to add layers to something that's flat on our desktop versus a box, right, or a square. So we're gonna do that. And this piece right here is gonna go just like this. So, we can squish this all down and just add a little bit of glue right to that little tab. And now I'm going to curl it under, push it down. Look at that, right? Okay, hang on, we got one more thing. We are going to take these garden gems and these are so pretty. We've got the bluish green kind of iridescent, and then these, depending on which way you tip them, they're green or they're cherry cobbler. So they're really pretty too. And we're gonna take this and, oops, I think, yep, I just pulled all the sticky off the back of that. Hang on. We're gonna put this right in here. On that edge and this is just gonna be a little subtle bling for each end of our label and I thought those would look really neat right there ah! what do you think pretty yeah okay because there's not any place to write on here we're gonna do a little bit to the back and so we've got a piece that's four by four and a quarter, and I'm gonna do a dry fit here and go, yep, it fits like this, not like this, but like this. So I'm going to grab this big floral image, and I'm just going to stamp that right down here in the corner. And I just love how it's darker and lighter, and it's just such a neat image. I love that they call these the distinctive images. So we've got our hello there, and now we're going to bring this in. Another fun fold to try, Pam says, yes, indeeders. So I gotta tell you my funny little story about how I told Ann Williams that that wasn't my card. So here's our card. Here's the back where you can write on it. This stands up just like that. The cool part is, is it lays down completely flat. Here's an envelope for mailing, okay? So it stands, whoops, I just bent that. It stands up like this, but when you go to mail it, it folds down. Totally cool, right? All right, we're gonna do this envelope. And I've got my designer series paper. This is two and a half by six, by the way. And then I like to open this up and just trim around the flap of the envelope as a guide. And I just always think this is so classy looking, especially with this paper, or if you're using bright and bold paper, it's just fun. 
cool. Look at how cool that is. Isn't that neat? So now we've got the card and the envelope. So let me tell you a little story about this because this was funny. So I've made this card before many times. I make it like this. This is how my card works, okay? This is how it works. When she showed me that card, somebody else had made it this way instead of this way. And I went, I don't know where that's coming from. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Like I didn't even realize that that was a card that I had made, but I make them like this. And now you can just turn it sideways and do it like this. I love this. And I think I'm going to use this as a um, get well card. I think that's going to be really a nice get well card, right? Okay. Again, this uses the Eden's Garden collection of products. They are going to be available on Tuesday. Yay! Brand new promotion. Oh, I know what I was supposed to tell you. So, the stamp set and the dies, those are going to be in the Spring Mini Catalog. Okay, so this is an early release. What is not going to be available after this promotion is the designer series paper. So this paper with the designer series paper and the cotton paper, this is like a thick tissue paper in soft succulent and evening evergreen that matches all of this. But this particular designer series paper is not going to be in the spring mini catalog. This is exclusive to our November, December, promotion for the Eden's Garden. Also exclusive is the Garden Gems. They will not be carrying over into that mini catalog. So you can only get these items right now. So I just want to make that perfectly clear. But the stamp set and the dies will be available in the spring mini catalog that comes out January 4th. And the other thing that I wanted to mention to you, if you came on late, Dina Barb and I are doing an online class with this. You get the online class for free when you order option one from us. So pre-cut card stock for nine cards, plus an online class with video tutorials for each one free when you order option one. And we will be placing those orders right away on Tuesday once your invoice is paid for the class. Now, there was one other thing I was just going to tell you about. Um, Eden's Garden. Oh, and your products ship to you right away when you order option one, too, just so you know that you don't have to wait to get your products. Okay, next up. I can't wait to show you my mail tonight because I have some really pretty things to share with you. Now, my next card is another fun fold, but it's got quite a technique with it. And I think you're really going to love this. So I've got designer series paper, soft succulent. And let me get all my bits and pieces out of here. Take my little sheet sheet down and put this one up. Okay. Soft succulent. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm just going to fold it in half and burnish that edge. Good. And now I'm going to take this one and I'm going to fold it back and fold it directly in half again. Okay. So then this is what we have kind of like a Z fold. What are you guys drinking tonight? I want to hear from you. I have my regular old boring strawberry lemonade, but I do love it. So it's not that boring. And we've got a piece of this pattern. I love this ombre effect on the back of here too. But we've got this piece and we can go ahead and we can glue that in place. And we're gonna put that right inside of our card. Probably shouldn't do this part until you get the other part done. 
Because no, I'm always good for that, right? Like, I always do stuff like that. Like, tell you, ah, oh, maybe you want to wait on this. Okay. Then we're going to be using this side and this side. This was four by five and a quarter, by the way. This is one and seven eighths by five and a quarter. And you need two pieces. So I've got two different pieces here. I am going to take this one and put it on this front panel. And then I'm going to take this side and put it on the inside panel. Just like that. Oh my gosh, isn't that already just so pretty? Yeah, the paper does all the work for you. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're going to take some nesting dies. And I chose to use these Hippo and Friends dies. You've got three different sets of nesting dies in here. And so I used the largest, the two largest um, in this shape. I don't know why you call this shape because it's kind of weird, but this shape. And um, we are going to take the smaller of the two and we're going to put it on this layer so that that score line is right in the center of the die. So I've got some temporary tape here and I am going to tape this down. Now I'm gonna bring my die cutting machine in because I have to show you this part. this right down here oh this is my this is my plate that I usually cut on okay so here's what we're gonna do we're going to put this in here I only let me think about this a bit I only want to cut and roll this die in up to that score line okay so what I need to do is I need to bring this plate Ooh, in from this end. That's why I was confused. I'm like, what? I need to bring that plate in from this end and only have this edge of this plate line up with that score line so that I'm only cutting out half of this die. That's what I want to do. So let's see if I can get this to stay in place. Yep, I think that's gonna be just perfect. And see, now it's only gonna cut half of that die. The other half doesn't have a plate on top of it. So we're gonna take this off, put my tape back. I keep my tape right here on my machine. And now what we've done is we have just cut out half of this, okay? Isn't that kinda neat? You'll see why in a second. Things are falling. Okay. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take some white scraps and we are going to die cut two of the smaller, this shape, which I don't know what that shape is called. And then there's a bigger die here someplace that I just lost. Did anybody see where that went? Oh, I'll find it. I guess I'm glad I have this already cut out <laughs> because I lost my die. Um, so this is the biggest one. This is the second biggest one. You're going to cut out two white ones of these size and one big one. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stamp these up. And then I'll show you all about why I did this to my card. So let's get these stamped up. I'm going to use, again, the Evening Evergreen. And this time, I'm going to pull in my Sending Hugs. Oh, Peggy says she can't wait to try this. I can't wait for you to try it. I haven't seen die cutting done that way before. Just hang on, Jean. You're going to love this because it's pretty cool. Oh, whew, thank goodness I didn't mess that up. So I'm going to do my sending hugs right here. Oh, that turned out great. 
And then I'm going to do some of these leaves on the biggest one here. I'm just gonna do one there. I just love these. I think they're so gorgeous. Aren't those so pretty, you guys? Distinctive, yeah. And then we're going to take, oh, here it is, look. Here's that biggest one. <laughs> I couldn't find it. There it is. Okay. And then we've got this big flower. And I'm going to take that. I'm going to stamp it a little bit on this layer. So it looks just like that. I'm going to stamp it a lot of it on this one. So it looks like that. Isn't that pretty? And then... We are going, oh, I have a little gold piece, this little gold piece here. We're gonna take this little sprig and we're going to get a die of gold, okay? Now, I may be die cutting that because, oh, here it is. I was gonna say, I lost it and I did not run it over with my chair. <laughs> I thought I just ran over it with my chair. Okay, so we've got that. So we've got this and this and this. Oh, and I should have an envelope to someplace. Hang on. Oh, there's an... Is that the envelope? Oh, here's an envelope. Okay, good. Okay, we'll use that one. Um, all right, now what we're going to do here is we're going to take this look at when you do that now it gives you a perfect palette to put this right back in place see how that see how that worked right here like this so we're going to glue that on there and again these are the hippo dies they have three different sets of nesting dies in them and that's kind of what you need for this card so we've got this Okay, and then right here on the back of that, we're going to put this one because it's the same size. It's going to fit in there perfectly. And I'm just going to quickly open this up, make sure that everything is lined up right. Okay, and there we go. Isn't that pretty? And then this needs to be centered under this other one. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm lining it up. And then I'm going to look at it, make sure it's straight. I'm going to keep it pushed down here. So I want to make sure that this all looks nice when it's folded up. I'm going to keep it in place. I'm just going to add some glue here. <laughs> I'm not letting it move. Don't let it move. And some glue here. Whoa, right? Isn't that cool? So the reason why we only cut half of this was to make like a place for all of this to flip over and glue back in place with that very same shape. Now, before we're done here, I want to... Hang on, I want to glue this in place and I decided that this would look really pretty right over this image. So that was my grand idea here, was to take this gold and put it right in here. It's just gonna be a really pretty accent and then the ribbon. I'm going to tie this in a bow. This is really nice ribbon, by the way. It's um, very flexible and soft and easy to work with. I know I talk about that a lot, but you guys know what I'm talking about when you have ribbon that won't tie nice and ugh, just makes you crazy. You know what I mean. Okay, we're going to pop that, and whoops, hang on, and that, grab a mini glue dot here, and then I thought a nice place for this would be right up here kind of in this little 
corner. Oops, I'm sticking my arm in this. Okay. What do you guys think of that? Isn't that pretty? I know. Thank you guys so much. I really love this. Now, we've also, whoops, I still need this. We've also got this envelope. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to bring in this floral image and I'm just going to stamp it right there. And now we've got a gorgeous envelope to go along with the beautiful card. And I already have this one done too, to go with this beautiful card. What do you guys think? This is all the Eden's Garden, like super fun, easy. I love it when the paper is so spectacular that it does the work for you, right? That's the way I like to think about it. Now, I wanted to show you where I got this idea from. This one I told you came from, from Anne, right? That was from Ann Williams, but it was actually from me, which is <laughs> so funny. Typical Kelly boob. And this particular card came from my team member, Mary Stroman. And let me get this out of here. Mary, Mary was going to be in town. She lives in beautiful northern Wisconsin in a resort area and she was coming through on her way home from visiting her mom in Illinois. And Mary is one of my team members and she said, I would love to stop and meet you. And I said, oh yes, let's do lunch. So we did. We went to Zupa's where I had my famous pear salad oh, and creme brulee. I am gonna admit it, I ate the creme brulee, the whole thing. Anyways, me and Mary had a very nice lunch together and she brought me a gift and she brought me this card and this is where I got the idea isn't that cute yeah this is where I got this idea from so I know a lot of times I get um, questions from you guys saying where do you get your inspiration from how do you design your cards this is one of the ways is to take this and I was actually gonna make this exact card but we don't have these nesting dies anymore. So then I had to figure out a different plan, right? And so that's, this is where I got my inspiration was from Mary with this beautiful card. So thank you very much, Mary. And Mary gave me um, a matching envelope here. Isn't that cute? And then I need to show you the gift. Now, I don't have part of it. And I'm trying to remember what it was called. It was called Buck something. It was a bottle of wine. Buck Shack, I think is what it was called. A bottle of wine called Buck Shack in this, in this fun gift bag. And Mary says to me, she goes, I don't know if you really like wine or not, but the bottle was just so cool I had to get it. <laughs> and it was really cool. And we laughed. And I said, no, I'm not really a wine drinker. But um, my mother is, and she will love it. So I took it up to my mom's house where she immediately took it and put it in the refrigerator, and I never saw the bottle again. So I'm sorry I can't share that with you. But this is Kilwins. This is some fudge from Monaco, Wisconsin. And look at it's fancy and stuff because it comes with a little knife and of course you want to eat fudge in very small amounts because it's very rich. Mary was afraid it was going to be hard. It's not Mary. It is soft and delightful. So there we go and now I can take this downstairs and share it with Steve only tomorrow because then he's leaving. <laughs> There's a method to my madness. So thank you very much. Last but not least, check this out. The wine glass. It's not easy being queen. <laughs> I love these. I love these. I have friends who buy me queen things. My mom does too. She gets a big kick out of it. But this was something that my one of my friends bought for me. And it got broken while I was remodeling my office, but um, it sets in the windowsill and it's this queen thing that sits over here. And I just, just like the fudge. Mm. 
I just love it. I love these. So let me put that back and I will show you the rest of my mail and get the fudge off my fingers. <laughs> okay. Ooh, I got fun stuff too. Whoops. Something fell out. Okay. So, oh, this is so, so pretty. This is that re-inker um, technique. And isn't this just gorgeous? This is from Carissa Alberts of Johnson Creek, Wisconsin. And she is thanking me for some prizes that she won. So yay, look at how gorgeous that is. Way to go, Carissa, and you are very welcome. Next up, we have another thank you card. And again, this is for prizes. These are team members. Um, thank you for the envelope challenge prizes. And isn't this gorgeous? This is from Christine. She's one of my team members from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Very, very pretty. Uses that gorgeous beauty of tomorrow. And let me move my queen glass. Then uh, we have this adorable Halloween card from Cheryl McCuskey. And Cheryl says, have a fabulous Halloween. I'm so glad that I am on your team. I learned so much from you, Dina and Barb. Well, you are very welcome. We are so happy to have you. Super, super cute. And this uses the um, penguin punch to make this little vampire too, you guys. So that's pretty cute. Next up, Anna Ribadu. Also from Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. Oh, love this peach. Now, if you guys, if any of you have this peach suite of products, I have an online class using this too that has nine different peach cards in it. Um, I think it's $45 and it comes with product. And product would mean ribbon and embellishments and stuff like that, all consumable things. So even if you happen to have any of it, it's you. It's the stuff that you use up. It's not the stamp sets or anything. So, and Anna also is thanking me for the envelope challenge. Um, she won some treat boxes and envelopes. So, you are very, very welcome, Anna. Last but not least in my mail tonight, I have a beautiful card. And this is from um, my business coach. This is from Rhonda Wade. I train with Rhonda Wade to um, keep my business in line. And look at this. Do you guys remember when we made this card? Yeah, very cool, right? It says, thank you for being a part of the Elite Mastermind and allowing me to be a part of your business. I adore you and love seeing your continued growth and success. It says, may the good you do come back to you. And what a pretty, pretty card, right? I love this. She also sent along this little bracelet. And it says, there's no force equal to that of a woman determined to rise. And it says, close your eyes and make a wish. Then tie your bracelet on your wrist. Once the bracelet breaks in two, the wish made still will still come true love this. And she also sent this gift along. So I have another create. I love this. And this was made by the lettered lane. So it must be someplace local in Michigan that makes these laser cut um, words and puts them on wood. But this will be a great decoration. Maybe it'll go right over there by my queen, right? So thanks to Rhonda Wade for these fabulous gifts. Thank you guys so much for the cards and also to Mary for the cool glass, the wine that my mother is loving and the fabulous, ooh, this is really good, good fudge from um, Manitowoc, not Manitowoc, um, Manaqua, Wisconsin. Thank you so much. All right, you guys, I will be live again next Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Time, and that date would be November 7th. 
And um, for those of you that ordered bingo packets, they are over there. All the cardstock is spread out. I'm almost done compiling them. I had to wait until Friday afternoon for the product to come in. Um, there was a problem with the shipping through UPS that it didn't get delivered when it was supposed to. So that arrived on Friday. All the cardstock packs are being cut right now. And I will have those out in the, in the mail to you tomorrow morning. Yay! Um, if you signed up for Bingo late and added on the bundles of product, I believe those are coming in Tuesday. So I did put in a second order for those to get here, expedited shipping. So I'll be able to send those out, I think, on Tuesday or Wednesday morning. Just want to keep you updated and let you know what is going on with that. I'm trying to look at my... Um, comments here. I think that I need to leave my my um, iPad up like this because whoops, when I turn it sideways like this, all my comments are blended in and I can't really read them. So I think I'm going to have to leave it like this. And I don't know why I'm telling you this because you don't care, nor should you. <laughs> That's my problem. That's your problem, Kelly. Deal with it. <laughs> no, you guys would never say that. So anyways, I'm just looking to see if I missed any if I missed any questions, you guys. If you want to ask them right now, I'm actually am able to read it because it's on a black background. So I hope you had a wonderful Halloween. Even if it was uneventful, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye, right? <laughs> it can always be worse. <laughs> yeah. So trick or treat. Trick or treaters just ended for Judith, so I'm just saying hi and happy Halloween. We'll catch the replay. Well, Judith, make sure you take a look at Little Miss Val's Halloween costume because I posted it right before I came on here. Oh my gosh, she was so cute, so stinking adorable. Okay, I think we are gonna wrap it up. If you guys like, um, if you guys have anything that you would like me to show you how to make like Ann Williams. She emailed me a picture of a card just like, well, it wasn't just like this. It used totally different stamp set and papers, but, um, and she said, Kelly, I want to know, can you do this? I want to know how to make this. And I was like, I don't know. I've never made a card like that before. <laughs> I'm silly. But, um, if you have anything that you would be interested in me making for you, please let me know. I'm always looking for suggestions and who best to get those suggestions from than my fabulous people who tune in to me every Sunday night, right? Yeah. That was one of your mom's favorite sayings, Debbie said. Yeah, well, sharp stick in the eye. <laughs> I want to get a sharp stick in the eye. Yeah, that's, a, that's an old time saying, right? I was watching... Duck Dynasty earlier this morning, and boy, do you get a lot of old, um, old sayings there from those Duck Dynasty guys. They're so funny. Be jolly, stamp set ideas. Julie says, "Which stamp is that?" Julie, be jolly. Is that in the mini catalog? I don't know if I have that one. Hello, Jackie Unger. Thank you so much. Okay, I'm going to let you guys go. I have to go to the bathroom. Maybe a little bit too much information. Don't forget, this goes live on Tuesday, the Eden's Garden. I do have the online class available on my blog right now. You can pre-order it. If you order option one, all of your products will ship to you immediately. Not immediately, but once you get the invoice paid and I put the order in, which happens, I check many times a day to make sure that I'm getting those in really quickly. So if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask me. I absolutely love spending my Sunday nights with you and I'm just so grateful that you tune in and that you can giggle along with me and my shenanigans because I certainly have a lot of them, right? Yeah. Jean says she loved Duck Dynasty. I know it's so funny and it just popped on my, when I was flipping channels today and I thought, oh, I'll watch this. And then of course I got sucked right in and they were over in Scotland and I can't remember that old guy's name, the uncle that's kind of a lunatic, but he's so funny. I love him. Yeah. Go look at the pictures. Val's Halloween costume was incredible again. I don't know how we're going to keep topping this. 
<laughs> Anyways, have yourselves a great week. I'll see you next Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time right here. Good night, everybody.